Hello, good people of South Africa. I hope you are good as well as the people, peoples of the world. The reason why I come to you today, uh, it's because I hold a view, and it has been my view that pastors, men of God, prophets, should be allowed to have more than one wife. This is my view, and I'm sure uh, people will think I'm becoming very controversial, but I'm not at all. Uh, I will support my view, uh, not because I want to promote that they must have, they must live the life that I am I'm leading. But I think there are a number of reasons, and uh, I think there are a number of people who are going to concur with me. There are so many incidents that have taken place in our country as well as around the world as a whole, where we have found pastors. Uh, engaging in activities that um, are unbecoming as far as uh, the doctrine or the church is concerned. Remember, we are holding pastors to the highest esteem. Uh, we are holding them to the highest regard as, as one uh, uh, sector within our society that we look up to. And most people, they draw their strength, their spirituality uh, from what pastors are saying so what has happened the recent de developments uh, has left many of our people upset many of our people uh, dispel and m m many of our people have been so, so disappointed because pastors what they have done they have started acting in the manner that some of us will consider as unbecoming. Uh, and one area, if not many, is the area around pastors being having wives, but they also find themselves having uh, multiple partners, uh, some within the house of the Lord, uh, some at work, and some... In other sectors and and that is the bone of contention because in the eyes of people uh, who regard pastors as people that are living an upright life they get so disturbed and so discouraged uh, when these pastors they start engaging in these activities and my view has been and it still it is that I don't see anything that is wrong when pastors they can have more than one wife which i think is going to assist them not to sin uh, because at some point polygam was preached as something that is a sin but it's only now where the pastors themselves have also uh, agreed with me not with me as well but they've done a thorough research that there is nothing wrong about being a polygamist uh, a man of many wives. Uh, they even go to an extent of saying God would not have regulated a polygam if it was a sin because we find God in his word regulating uh, the position, the role that a man who's having more than one wife, what role that particular man should play. But I'm saying we have come to, to a time where we can no longer ignore this, uh, this uh, what is happening around our times. Uh, many pastors will find that they are having girlfriends. Many pastors will find that they are sleeping with members of the congregants. And that becomes sinful because as they are doing it because they are human beings, it's not allowed, it's not uh, approved. Whereas if members of the congregants can take take a, a bold step a do what God did at some point where God regulated the role that people who are living the polygamous lifestyle they should play I think it will assist many pastors to come out it's a shame where pastors will impregnate girls and force them to have abortion whereas they are also preaching that abortion is a sin so you can imagine a number of sin that comes from one activity, an activity of having another partner, an extra 
marital partner. Because you will pregnant this girl, you will refuse that the girl must carry the, carry the child for nine months. Not only that, you would want to hide uh, the pregnancy. You will also go to an extent of saying, in case where the girl refuses uh, to do abortions, you will go to an extent of saying, let us get whosoever who is your boyfriend and say the child that we are carrying belongs to that particular boyfriend. And I think it's when a number of scenes are coming from, from, from that side. Because I don't think if we are in the position where we have agreed that we, 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 we put polygamy as part of our religious beliefs, of our beliefs, it, it, it will be fine to be a sin. Not only that, I think we have come to a point where pastors have realized themselves that they are human beings after all. Uh, I have tried to say hey, why pastors are doing this, why pastors are engaging in these activities. But you will find people saying to me, no, they are, they are human beings after all. So what does that mean? It means if pastors are, are human beings after all, then the only recourse that we can have and that can sit well with us as society, as human beings, is where we also come to our real senses. Because if we come to our real senses, we will then say, pastors, they can have more than one wife. Because by doing that, you are then reducing uh, having pastors having an unregulated multiple partners that are found everywhere they go. Pastors, they travel uh, all over the country where they go and preach, even outside the borders of this country. And it happens that when they do uh, those activities, when they travel, they also. But what is important in the engagement or in what I'm saying is that this does not make them to be above the law where they will sleep with young children, where they will uh, start uh, performing cult activities like some other past past pastors where we have heard that uh, they've made it a norm that they must sleep with young girls. Uh, they take them and keep them somewhere. No, that is not what I'm encouraging. That is not what I'm, I'm talking about. In fact, that should be condemned, should be discouraged, uh, and those people should be taken. The, the law must take its course. What I'm saying here, I am being, I'm putting a realistic point of view to say, why is it that we are not realizing as a society that it might have worked in the olden times that pastors would live with one wife? But this time around, I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. It's not because I am doing it, but I'm being realistic. I always hold a realistic point of view in my life. I don't want to live a wish-wash, uh, unrealistic lifestyle. There is no pastor uh, who will be living an upright life. Go and do your own research. These pastors are sinning because... The way gospel was preached before, there are a number of flaws in it which has made these people to sin. I don't think they also love to sin. I don't want to go to other issues that pastors are doing because I'm not talking about that. I am saying, why don't we as a society, why don't we as congregants, why don't we come to uh, a position where we openly engage and discuss uh, that pastors must take more than one wife. Uh, I'm not advo advocating it because there's going to be any benefit for me, but I am advocating it because I know that it is bad to hold certain people to the highest esteem. And then down the line, you find them, uh, you know, being, being labeled as sinners. On something because the other thing which is a problem here to be a pastor is a calling so you might have this calling uh, which makes you to be a pastor but because you, you are made out of flesh and blood 
And then that brings you to this space. So I am therefore saying, 